All right, kiddos, we are about to embark in our journey of analyzing a big giant pool of data. I can't believe I'm going to try this, but I, I have faith in you. We have so much data. I don't even, I've never collected so much data probably in my life. And, and I'm so glad you were all a part of it. So remember that reaction time uh, survey we did? Well, look at all this data we got. Look at all this beautiful data. Are you in my way? Come here. There it is. Look at all this data. We got data about the number of hours you practice martial arts, how much you slept, how much caffeine you had, what time is it, how old are you, okay? We have all this data, and we're eventually, you're going to pick just a bits or pieces of this data to analyze. That way, everybody has a choice, all right? So everyone is going to get to choose what data they want to analyze. Now, very first step. I made this document for you. Okay, so in this data study, I pulled out all of the independent variables that I think um, we should focus on. There was gender, and that was gender assigned at birth. Okay, practice listening to your favorite or least favorite music, number of servings of caffeine. Okay, all of these are all the different options you have to study. The first thing you're going to do is write the questions, okay? So if the condition or the independent variable is in this column, and we know our dependent variable is reaction time, you are going to write your question in the form of what is the effect of, you plug in the independent variable on, and then you just, everybody gets to plug in reaction time. We're gonna make it easy for you. So for this one, what is the effector, uh, effect of gender assigned at birth on reaction time? Okay, so that's what you're going to do. You're going to go through and turn all of these independent variables into questions. A lot of practice, I know. You need it. And then you are going to come back and you are going to make a hypothesis that can be tested, that you can, that you can test. Is this hypothesis supported or not? So you're going to make it specific. It has to include the independent variable and the dependent variable. And... A reasonable explanation. Okay, so I put gender will not significantly influence reaction time because reaction time has to do with the nervous system, not the reproductive system. So that is my hypothesis. I don't know if that's going to be supported by the data or not, but that's what I'm thinking. Nervous system, reproductive system, I don't know. They don't seem, I don't think that um, gender is going to influence it. Okay. And again, that's the gender assigned Oops, at birth. Okay. And then you have practice. So like, same thing, go through, do it, all the questions, all the hypotheses. And when you're done with that, you are going to start to think about what data do you want to do your graphing and your analysis on. I broke this down into four levels. Level one, the first three are level one. You are at level one if you are still practicing working with numbers to make tables, charts, and graphs. You are level two if you're fairly independent and in making tables and graphing, but you could use some support in practice. Level three, you feel confident in working with numbers. Level four, you've got this. You love spreadsheets and you want to be able to do your own thing with that big pile of data. Um, so once you're done that, pick which ones you want to do.